Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? Today we're going to be talking about dominion and what it actually is. And we're going to talk about also the fears of the life, which dominion becomes a cure all for, meaning dominion abolishes these fears. What is dominion? I've talked about it before. Depending on how long you've been following me and how consistently you've been watching my videos, you may or may not know what dominion is. I think to date people are associating dominion with the kind of creepy crawly, ghosty, paranormally spooky things that we might encounter when we begin to deepen our spiritual connection. For example, when we open our third eye, you know, we are going to be perceiving in an expanded level and some people are afraid of what that might be. And so I've taught dominion in relation to that and I've been telling people when you stand in your dominion, you have nothing to fear because you are sovereign in the space. But what does that mean though, to stand in your dominion? Dominion is the existence of your life. Dominion is the vibration of your life. But dominion is that vibration in alignment with who it is that you truly are. Catch that, because that's important. Dominion is the existence of the life when in alignment to the source of all things and also the I am or the higher self. When we are in alignment to that, we are existing in a state of an energetic disposition of dominion. And this is an empowered and completely emboldened energetic state for the person who exists in the incarnation and in the life in this emboldened state understands that they are not fixed to this state. They understand that they are not creating in a container in this state, meaning in this dimension. I'm not fixed to 3D reality. I'm not fixed to just this incarnation. In fact, I don't exist in totality within this dimension at all. I exist outside of it. I exist as an oversoul. I exist as a higher self. And in that position, I am the intelligent designer of my life. That's who I truly am. And I choose to stand in the energy of that, channel that energy into this incarnation and manifest from there fearlessly, fearlessly, because we know as the I am, as the higher self, we are the ones that dispatched ourselves into this life. Not only that, we know that the higher self had a hand right along with source energy in creating the universal architecture, the cosmological infrastructure of the dimensions, the octaves, the universes, or the multiverse, as we now say we had a hand in creating this veritable playground so we could dispatch aspects of ourselves into the playground and have experiences. And so when we're in this position of dominion, we're not afraid of any of the lives that we're living. We're not afraid of anything that can happen in any of the lives that we're, ha that we're living. We are also not afraid of anything that's existing inside of this playground, inside of this dimension, inside of any other dimension inside of a parallel dimension or a parallel life or a parallel universe. We're not afraid of the beings that exist there. We're not afraid of what they can do. We created the infrastructure. We created all of this. Therefore, we control it and we are in the power position. However, the thing about 3D reality is that it's sticky. I say this all the time, it's sticky. It's very easy to get caught up in this weird dream state illusion of earth reality where we think and begin to identify as this reality. I'm not Crystal Ann Compton. I am higher self over soul. Rather, I am Crystal Ann Compton living in this weird <laughs> earthly life on this crazy prison planet with this body and, and all of that goes with that and with these friends and with this bank account. That's who I am. So many of us begin to misidentify or identify ourselves as the incarnation, not the being that put us into this incarnation. Hi, my sweet. Say hi to the internet, Koa. And when we misidentify in this way, 
When we start to think of ourselves as Crystal Ann Compton, 3D being, and not Crystal Ann Compton, omnidimensional being that stands outside of all universes and dimensionality, well, that's where the fear begins to pop up. And there's all kinds of fears. And you right now are probably living with all kinds of fears, some of which you might not even be aware of. And so in this video, I want to talk to you about, I think maybe just three of these fears, three fears that dominion abolishes, three fears that will completely be eliminated from your life once you get into alignment with your own divine nature. The first fear that goes away when we achieve this energetic disposition of dominion is the fear of the expanded experience. We could also call this the fear of the unknown. I hear a lot from people because I teach them about how to open their spiritual gifts. And they say, Crystal, I really want to be a medium, but I'm afraid of seeing dead people. <laughs> or Crystal, I really want to open my third eye, but... I'm afraid of the energies I might begin to perceive. I'm afraid of ghouly or ghastly images I might see. People say, Crystal, I really want to develop my empathic nature, but I'm afraid of getting burned out or overwhelmed by the energy of this world. Fear of the expanded experience keeps people from making a deeper spiritual connection, keeps people from opening their own inner doorway of perception. We can call this the third eye or the eye of spirit. You can call it whatever you want, but within us all is a faculty, you see, an ability to perceive in an expanded way and not just to perceive with our faculties here, but with our awareness to perceive dimensionally and multidimensionally. When you occupy your dominion, which is the existence in the incarnation of the energy of that which you truly are, you have nothing to fear because you know I created this. You know I'm in control of this. You understand that as the consciousness, is that's what you are, your pure, raw consciousness at the higher self level, you understand that the consciousness having the experience is in control of that experience. And if the consciousness doesn't want it, then the consciousness tells it to leave. And if the consciousness wants it, the consciousness calls it into existence. The consciousness is the intelligent designer. That's who you are. And there is no reason to fear what now you do not know or what now you might not see. There's nothing to fear. And in dominion, you feel that. Again, it's this empowered position. It's this emboldened position. The next fear that dominion completely abolishes is the fear of change. And here we have some practical applications for this. And when I say practical applications, what I mean specifically is we have practical ways in our life that we can actually look at this because a lot of us are afraid to change. In our quest to spiritually awaken, in our quest to understand in an expanded way. We're afraid, however, to make modifications and adjustments in our life that we know we need to make in order to facilitate this process. For example, some of us are afraid to change relationships. Maybe we are in relationship with people who are toxic to us, people who do damage to us, people who do not support us. And we know that if we truly want to dedicate ourselves to the spiritual path, we're going to have to set some boundaries around these people. And in some cases, we're going to have to eliminate these people entirely, but we're afraid of that. We're afraid of the impact that's going to have on us. What's going to happen if I divorce my husband? What am I going to do? How am I going to provide for myself? We're afraid of limiting our exposure to friends because what are they going to think of us? Are they going to drop us all together? Am I going to be alone? We're afraid. Still others are afraid of change in the area of their purpose and their work. They know that they're working at a nine to five job for somebody else's dream, giving their life force and their ability and power and strength to a corporation or to a business that for, the, for many of us, for most of us, really doesn't care about us at all, but they're afraid to make a change. 
and to move in the direction of their light work. Light work is simply the work that you came here to do, the work that you've been uniquely equipped to do in this incarnation, whether that's a healer, an inspirer, a giver, a hospitable person, a charitable person, whether that's a public speaker, a writer, a singer, whatever it is for you. You might be afraid to move in the direction of that because you have the security of the work that you do now. And so you never take the leap. You never make the shift and you never make the move. You never move into your light work. You never actually occupy in fullness what you came here to do. And this keeps you from that deeper spiritual connection. Let's talk about shift because this again is a buzzword in the new age community. We're talking about ascension. We're talking about the event. We're talking about a shift that is taking place. Shift is change. The spiritual person understands that source energy is experienced within a flow of energy. Source energy is not static. It's not a destination that we find and then just we stay there and we hang out there and we never go anywhere else. No, source energy is a river of life that takes us from destination to destination, from experience to experience. And that in and of itself requires that we change. If we truly are shifting into a new consciousness or truly into a new form or state of being, we're going to have to change. We can't be afraid to change. And when we align to our dominion, when we exist in, vibrate in our dominion, which is the energy of who it is that we truly are moving and taking form in the incarnation, that's when we have nothing to fear. We welcome the change. We look for areas in our life that we can adjust, move around, so that we can make that channel even wider, so we can get on that river of life even faster, get in our boat and start flowing. We embrace change because we, we understand that's how creation works. Creation works through destruction, and production, that's what it is. And one thing that I wanna mention about change that is so powerful is this. When we have the bravery to change, two things actually happen. First of all, we become the agent for that change. So we're actually facilitating that which we need to experience in order to up-level our life. So that's the first thing. That's awesome. But the second thing that happens when we are brave enough to change is we demonstrate to ourselves that we are the kind of people who can be an agent for change. Change often being hard means we're going to be required to do hard things. And when we stare fear of change in the face, when we face the challenge of fear and challenge of change and we break through it, we teach ourselves that we're the kind of people that can do hard things. That's an incredibly powerful lesson. Why? Because the next time something comes rolling down the pike in our life that's going to require a shift, a modification, a change, a breakthrough of fear, we already know that we can do it. We've done it before. We've demonstrated to ourselves that we're the type of people who can change. It's powerful. And the person who lives her life or his life in that state of dominion again embraces this kind of this kind of transmutation and change the last kind of fear that dominion completely abolishes is the fear of success or the fear of failure both of which are intimately connected you'd be surprised how many people how many successful people actually started out being really afraid to succeed or really afraid to fail. And that's largely because they hosted within them some sort of a limited belief or some kind of programming, an energetic pattern, which I like to call a body within a body. And this energetic program told them that they were set up to fail, that they were the kind of person who isn't ever going to succeed, or if they did succeed, they're not going to know how to stand in the glory of their success. What are they going to do when they get there? 
because of scripts and narratives around unworthiness, they have a hard time actually visualizing themselves as the individuated personality. What's an individuated personality? It's an actualized personality, fully formed, fully incarnated, and in the power of their being, successful. They can't see themselves in their glory, in their power, in their strength, and in their success because they have the bodies within the body. Or they've just been told. They've been told in their life. You're never going to be able to do that. Are you kidding me? You don't have a college degree. You're going to fail. You don't know what you're doing. Or you failed that time five years ago. Remember how you failed? Or maybe you're the one who's telling yourself that. Maybe you're the one that's reminding yourself, oh gosh, Crystal, remember that time five years ago, you totally fell in your face and you failed and now you're afraid to try? Well, dominion puts an end to all that because of course, and again, when we stand in our dominion, we stand within the intelligent design. We stand outside of what we are creating and we look upon it masterfully, magically, the magicians of our lives. And we say, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. Let me move this around to facilitate this influx. Let me shift and change that. Let me call this into being me, the intelligent designer of all that I want to experience. We understand in this position of dominion that we came here to have all the experiences that we can to amass and to absorb and to integrate all of the lessons that we can. In the state of dominion, we understand that and we seek the successes. We seek the change. We seek the expanded experience and we are unafraid. Yes. Dominion, which once again and finally is the existence of, it's the way we vibrate, it's the way we live when we are in alignment with our divine nature, fears nothing, understands that our true nature is omnidimensional and eternal. Yes, indeed, infinite. And the power belongs to us. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is she that is in me than she that is in the world. Greater, I say unto you, is the God that is in me than anything that's in the world. I can make this world what I want. I can make this life what I want. The power is mine. That is dominion. Are you catching it? Are you feeling that? That's who you really are. That's who you really are. Start speaking from that. Start being from that. Start feeling from that. Start expressing and serving from that. Then you'll be in the power position of your life. And fear ain't got nothing on that.